I'll do this. It. Just turn me up if you need to. Send it in approximately 15 seconds, Thomas. One. Two, okay, don't count it. Porky, go ahead and intro us in. Right now? Yeah, right now. What is up, guys? We are here with a competitive BCL scrimmage. Today we've got Venice and Boy Scouts in round two of the playoffs. I'm here with AJ. How's it going? And Thomas. Well, how's it going? And we're going to be broadcasting this one live uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern right here. Should be a pretty good matchup. Um, Venice, no doubt, has the upper hand. But Boy Scouts has been scrimming a lot and definitely has gotten better with their strats. So I think this one should give us a pretty, uh, pretty good entertainment. What do you guys think? Yeah, it would be pretty good entertainment to see if which team will win in this Minecraft scrimmage comp. Yeah, Venice, quite a well-known team, been around for a past couple of seasons. Boy Scout, Boy Scouts is more of a ragtag team, more recently put together this season, but they've been making quite the wave through playoffs. Yeah, they have. They have a good lineup to go through most of the uh, playoffs, so let's see how that goes. All right, let's take a look over AJ at uh, Venice side. Um you come spec HCG, you do see here you do see him mining a, sh a ton of diamonds. Uh, so it looks like Venice got picks pretty quickly. Uh, we are here on Du Bois, which is a pretty pretty good map. So uh, both teams should have picks by about eight minutes. Um, uh, taking a look over at Boy Scout side, not exactly sure who their miners will be. Um, but I do see, I do see picks in at least one of their hands. So both teams looking like they got a pretty good start. Picks by at least eight minutes. Um, on this map, it's pretty, uh, pretty customary that both teams rush mid, and we often do see a mid fight straight off the bat. Um, a lot of a lot of rounds on Du Bois end pretty soon after they start. Also to note Just in. In Boy Scouts caves, there are a lot of craters both above the ground and below the ground, so we could. And I also do hear some bombs going off, so we could have uh, some bombers being run on the boys. Definitely, Maybe bomber more. is a bomber. Definitely a good strat on this map because we are playing uh, tens versus eights, which eights was made legal this season. But in playoffs, normally uh, we do see like normally eights or nines, but we actually have full ten playing on both sides. You see, uh, you Boy Scouts already got their comm chest set up. Praise the comm chest. Praise the comm chest. Praise the comm Good organization chest. here by Boy Um Yeah, again, this team is relatively new, but uh, they have players who've been in the BCL for a pretty long time. On Venice's side, however, um, they won, I believe, Season 5. They won Season 5. They season won. 5, yeah. They've been around for a while. Definitely a team that knows what they're doing. Um, so if I if I had to put a bet down, I would say Venice 2-0, but uh, you never know with a, with, a, with a game like this. You spectate Ed one, and it looks like he got trapped by his own teammate. <laughs> yeah, I just saw a little trap. <laughs> Sorry, I he doesn't to, have a pick. I had he to disconnect Justin because he just started eating in the... Oh yeah, he's just breaking through the stone with his axe. That's, that's rough. You really hate to see it. You hate to see it. Well, we're six minutes into the match, so let's see. It looks like Sox is gonna be uh, doing surface, I'm guessing. I'm just going underground. Venice side looks like Moon's got the comm chest up. Uh, we do see it flanked by two crafting tables. Solid strats. See, um, get, get the mid strat is time. basically. The mid strat on this map is is one of two things. Either teams will go straight down the middle, um, which is one block water, then two block water, and then the middle part is three block water. So that's a little a little less popular than what teams usually do, which is they go around either the left or right side, where it's two block the whole way. So often, it, um, what team is the better two blockers that gets to mid first? And uh, 
the team who gets the mid first will usually just push the other team off, push the other team out before the bridges spawn because the bridges spawn notoriously slow on this map. Well, they spawn really fast between islands, but not going yes, to mid. Exactly. And so, so it makes lot... all. Go ahead. Yeah, so I was gonna say a lot of times you'll see teams. Uh, normally they'll start. They'll choose, like you said, they'll choose that two block side where, or they'll choose more towards the middle where it's only two block deep. They'll choose that more on the side of green or yellow. So for blue, they do it more on yellow side, and then for on red, they do it more towards green side. And they'd use that side it goes towards mid, and then they'll end up meeting at this kind of cross section here. That way, if the teams, if there's people on the team that didn't follow the two block, if they followed the basic bridge, it'd be formed there, and they just have to wait till that bridge formed and uh, got ready. But yeah, since, like you mentioned, since the bridge forms so slow on a map like the boys, we probably will see just one team fight, and that will be the game. Yeah, and you see, and there is already two fours, so we're just waiting for a diamond count to be counted and see who got out geared. There's already a two fours. Oh yeah, there is uh, Irving, two fours. Pretty sure Venice is gonna be coming up soon. Yeah, pretty much everyone except for the miners should be up uh, in about half a minute. Up at about two minutes on this map, but uh, we'll keep you updated with the armor. Counts. We see on Boy Scout side, Erden with half diamond. Um, on Venice side, let's take a look. We don't see anyone really up at surface yet. Devon Moon. But, um. Go. Yeah, O'Call just got up. He's probably minor, so. But there is a couple of people. Uh, down at Venice Mines that are still mining. It's about to hit the three minute mark. It's... And most of Boy Scouts is already up, so. Venice constructing a massive uh, furnace wall here. Very massive. If there is any unsmelted iron at wow. all, Noof is going to be very mad. He's gonna be very mad because with that many furnaces, you should have all the iron in the world being smelted. I'm gonna take a count. Looks like 15. It's like. Boy Scouts has a lot of halves right now. There's like 11, now 12 furnaces 61. on each side. 61. Um, 61, 61 furnaces. 61 furnaces. If I counted right. But Maybe would they have excessive. enough blocks, yeah. though? Do they have enough blocks to <laughs> two block the mid? Maybe they'll There's be two blocking the mid with iron blocks. <laughs> Plato's <laughs> Venice just uses all of their cobblestone on furnace mid. Alright, so we are at the two minute mark, so miners should be coming up here soon. And just it looks like up. most for Venice are already up. See, some of most of the boys... Most of Venice is 2 4 it's diamond. Let's go check Boy Scout gear. Looks about the same for Boy Scouts. They do have 1 3 4 though, limitations with the diamond helmet. And it looks like, I think all of them are 2 4 except for Boy Scouts, who has the 3 4 so. Actually, Zombie Man is actually has a diamond chest plate. So, yeah. Depending what helmet Ocal or Nufi or Vias put on here, I think Vias is Al. Uh, depending on yes, yeah, Vias is Al. Okay, so Edwin will have a a diamond helmet. So I think if Ocal and Nufi have a uh, iron helmet, gear should be about even. And going, trying to record both teams going mid here is really tough, but I'll try to fit it in as much as go I to the, can. Just go to the top of the tree and put your render distance all the way up. Oh, the top the of the mid tree. The render distance, max render distance is 8. Oh, what? On mine plans, That's, yeah. Yeah, what server render distance. Oh, there we go. We gotta turn the FOV up the Quake Pro. Yeah, that yeah, totally helps. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that looks disgusting. Quake Pro. Alright, so 20 seconds here. Looking like they're ready to go. Pretty good organization by them. Uh, yeah, we we'll do, we do know that they have a, a two blockers. So, uh, mid could be a contest here. Yeah, Boy Scouts is going to the right side, so yeah, looks like, like they're going to take the two-walking one. 
Yeah, like I said, you want they they'll do it on that more towards green or yellow island. And here we go. Bridges have spawned. Venice with the early early push. Uh, looks like Venice will get there a slight bit earlier. Boy Scout Zerk's going in. Uh, both teams getting a couple chests. Venice looking like they want to take the push ASAP. I actually want to buy it and Two bombs go down for Boy Scouts. Venice is going to push the team. Apple is doing a lot of damage. And Boy Scouts is very split right now. Fredo goes down. 90. Boy Scouts popping. Boy Scouts with another kill. Boy Scouts with another kill. Boy Scouts might pull up an upset here. Oh my gosh. Boy 8 before. 8, 7 before now. Split. 3 left on Venice's side. That's Moon, HCG, and Dev. Uh, HCG goes down, and now it's just Moon and Dev. Boy Scouts still have 7 left. I did not see that coming at all. Yeah, that was crazy. Going mid, I saw Venice took the push right away, and they did a really good job at popping just Bredo so quickly once he was on that ladder. But Boy Scouts was grouped together so much better. Oh my god, my roommate just died. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Boy Scouts was grouped together so much better, and Get Konged had a huge bomb. As you saw, that bomb killed uh, who at the start? Newfie right at the start. And then Prashi's daddy went in and got a nice double kill there. As you see, we see a plus 7 kill, a plus 8 kill on Jaybird. Team fighting from uh, Boy Scouts there was just really well. Wow. But this Devin, is... Edwin are regrouped here, maybe? The time Devin, Edwin needs Venice. to regroup, so... <laughs> but since it's a 7v2, I don't know. Kind of be chances to pulling this off is really slim. Moon's just gonna try to block off and run for as long as he can. Uh, we did, we do know he's a Zerk, so this could take a while. Dev, however, probably not as. I think Dev was a uh, minor, from what I saw. Start, yeah, like... and Dev is going back to mid now. I mean, if I'm Boy Scouts, I, I pick off Dev first because he's not going to be able to run for as long as Moon can. Yeah. It looks like they're trying to cut off Moon. Jacob got er cut off. Nice. Uh, yeah, they did. Waste his leap. Moon's going to try to take the fight, but two Applers by Boy Scouts, and they're going to have a Yeah. Well, I guess now is the easy time to chase Dev, now that the Zerk is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Zerk is going to try to get the 1v1 before the rest of the team comes. And he's going to have to run because... All of them are going to be coming after him. Kind of makes a mistake blocking himself up. Archer's trying to get shots. Oh, and there gets Dev gets a triple hit on in there. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the screeny. <laughs> Dev is trying to bow him back. Oh, there's an apple chasing after him. And Dev's just gonna kite. Dev is gonna... blocking. Wow, nah, he's, he's blocking a lot. <laughs> Dev's crazy. Now it's gonna be a three block water, oh, so no. I don't think. Yeah, that's three block. It's over. It's gonna be one so zero for scouts. Taking the win here on Du Bois, something that we did not see coming. But uh. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where am I? Wait, what? Are you guys in a Wait. flat world? <laughs> Did it just go down? Did wait? Did it go back? Oh, I think the server. I think the entire server just crashed. Everyone's joining this. What? I, I think MP just went down. Um, <laughs> oh no! There's people it, bypassing it, in chat. There's people bypassing down. in chat. We can't have that. We can't have that. Can't. We can't. We can't. No. 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 Wait, no. You... Don't look at that. There's people bypassing. <laughs> wait. I can't even connect. What is I'm in, happening? I'm like in a flat world. Hold on, let me edit this. Or... <laughs> My machine broke. Uh, I think we need a fix. Oh, we no. Uh, you can join through the clan's IP, apparently. I'm on the clan's IP, but there's just a ton of people in um a flat world. Oh, jeez. Oh, here's the uh, head dev. Stop geek. Please fix. Cannot connect it. Yeah, I think, uh... Oh, my gosh. It's like... It's saying everyone who joined and left the game and the and the chat in like green like in yellow text like how it would on like a normal server. Oh <laughs> no, this is Oh no. I'm I'm That's... not Okay, people are saying the N word. This is not good. This is not good folks. I need to turn just my chat off apparently. Uh options, chat settings, we're just gonna 
hide that. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna exit MP. Um, you know, how you guys doing? <laughs> How's life for y'all? <laughs> I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> Wait, is it still down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are saying that I, can't really, I can't even, I can't even <laughs> connect. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. Can I get, can I get chat mod? So, uh, right, on this account. If you apply for media, sure. <laughs> Wait, I don't need to reapply. Got but... him. All right, Done. guys. Um. For the meantime, we're gonna hit you with the be all right back, and if the stream starts up again, I will unmute and I'll tell you about it.
boop. Hello, everyone. We are back. Sorry about well, that. Uh, short interruption. That was our sponsor uh, taking a commercial break. I hope you guys caught all the commercials. Oh, I didn't play an ad. I should play an ad right now. Oh, you should have played ads. Play ad. I just did. Play, um, let's see, play, uh, uh I can't choose, I can't choose the ad. Plays a high pixel ad? I just played an <laughs> ad, so hopefully by the time the ad goes away, the stream should be back. Dun, 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 dun. What map are we in? Uh, we are doing Taiga now. Oh boy. Taiga's our next map, so should be pretty exciting. Taiga, very, uh, particular map, especially with kids. And Taika also has uh, ice bridges too, so. It does. It is a very fast paced map to play on. Yeah, another Other map just like the boys, the boys where it'll be yeah. a fight on mid. Exactly. And it'll probably it's pure be... 2 block. Yeah, pure 2 block. There's a huge ice pillar in the mid, so there's a lot of ways teams can surprise attack the other team around it. Yes, sir. Next starfish, let me commentate. Uh, if you apply for media, go Hello? check hashtag info. Someone in the chat named Next Starfish. Ah. I need to plug in my phone because I have that running stream chat. Oh my gosh, the stream's dying. There's no way. I think I might have killed the stream when I tried to play an ad. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Kane, Kane got ad block plus. <laughs> <laughs> GG. <laughs> Thanks for the revenue, guys. It is easy money. <laughs> Apparently Coco is saying he was on a super flat while fighting, which hmm. I actually don't remember seeing Coco at all. I don't know about that. I don't want to go back up through my chat because there's some uh, very bad words in my chat. I agree. Good idea. <laughs> Let me go check. Uh... Yeah, nothing there. Thought I could find something cool. There wasn't anything cool. But yeah, uh, four start should be in about three minutes, so we should be starting back up soon. Hmm. Uh, yeah, everyone was in a super flat. Yeah, right. Just yes. cause, just cause the boys is an easy two block map doesn't mean it was a super flat. <laughs> just cause uh -huh. devs, uh, blocking. Uh, two block and three blocking was like phenomenal as he was kiting literally the entire team. He was kiting the entire team. He, he kited all of boys. You have to give him that. Okay, he you did. gotta give him credit because you gotta click 15 or like 16 CPS to do it. Right click CPS. Right click CPS. Well, I mean, if you jitter 15 or 16 or butterfly, all you have to do is move your fingers over to the other key. <laughs> Aha! AJ has just cracked the secret. I cracked the, the code. All you do is switch whatever finger. That's insane. I don't know. I, I don't know how he does that. That's kind of that's too much brain power for me. Too much brain power. Switch which mouse button I'm clicking. Aha! Coco, very profound statement. FS is not in this game. That's they are true. in different bracket. 
Yeah, they are on the other side of the bracket. That that's a very astute observation from Coco Monsters. I I think without him, many people would be confused. Very confused hey, right now. Oh. Maybe we'll be. Did I give you permission confused. to yawn on stream? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's like almost 10 p.m. So. All right. So here we are on out on Taiga as a. Uh, Abby said, four two block map, and oh, we're actually playing blue and I thought you played uh, red and yellow for this map. Oops. Well, do you, do you play blue and red or red and yellow for this map? I guess blue and red. Of course. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, it's supposed to be diag, but they're. But they're diag to each other. So we might have to restart. <laughs> Super flat and how this. <laughs> oh my gosh, Henry. So we are going to be restarting. We're going to be restarting. I'm man. a genius. This is Henry, so I blame this on Henry. I'm, <laughs> I'm so smart. And the funny thing is, no one would have noticed if, if AJ didn't say anything. <laughs> You should have just let it play. <laughs> <laughs> they realize it like two minutes. <laughs> oh, but now Venice gets to be red? No. Good. No, Boy Scout should be, be red. And Venice should be yellow. Uh... No, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Reverse emo card. Oh, uh, this was all a ploy by, uh. Ploy by Venice. I'm gonna go to. Dude, you just switch. Dude, imagine <laughs> they say Uno. Turns out they were like, "Oh, wrong color." Basically, a free wild card. Change the color to yellow. Played the final yellow card. So easy. You lost me at Uno. <laughs> <laughs> she lost me. <laughs> you lost me, at Uno. Hey, Boy Scouts hey. wants to play at FS Listen, already. I look up I'd want to play me too, homework. Nate. I think whatever team wins here will be a pretty, will be a good challenge for FS. If FS wins against the Coconutters on Tuesday, which they won't because the Coconutters are going okay, to okay. FS on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. All right now I can see teams Milo across from each other. Perfect. Good job. Um, yeah, let's take a look at War Spawn for Venice. Uh, we spec HCG here. I don't see any surface veins for Venice off the bat. There's Jaybird has one near his crafting table. Oh, there's one. And Nufi, or whoever's on Nufi's account, is going to blow it up. Let's see how many they get there. They get one there's with another second. one right there. Yeah, it's diagonal. Yes. Legal kits. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, that was two. Another one. And then another diamond right there. That's yeah. a pretty close vein. So, Venice has picks... Venice has a pick at nine minutes, which looks very good for them. Taking a look at Boy Scouts, not sure who the Oh, whoa, so whoa, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't have that on stream. Dev and Cyan, no, no. We're going, to Boy, we're going to Boy Scouts now, okay? We're, we're going to Boy Scouts. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, I see. July, oh, I see. July is over. July yes. is over. Yes, yes. Or June. I forget what month it was. Uh, looks like there's already quite a big K crater. Hey, no typing in chat. No Abby. typing. Oh, right. I forgot that was a rule. Thanks, Kane. Thanks, Kane. <laughs> Thanks, Kane. <laughs> oh, he's giving you advice. Oh. Well, AJ, how could you misconstrue it? AJ... Haha, uh -huh, got it, got it. Hey, no I, typing. You're still typing. You're when still did typing. This guy learn? You Red, think? wrong kids. Oh no, another wrong kids. They want to restart, but I think they <laughs> need they need the okay from Venice. They're technically legal kids. Oh, so, and oh. there it's a D9. Oh. Oh. Ah, Venice says no. Oh, I could allow them to start mounting a comeback, depending on. Well, if... I don't know what mess up they would would be. I mean, it's probably the matter of okay. like a brawler didn't. 
and go Zerk or something, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Some sort of just kit switch. Yeah, they really they got one on a map like this. Master, I agree on it. I mean, I think, like, the only restart would be, like, if they if they ran, like, two miners or something accidentally. Or, yeah. like, if they didn't run an if it was a, If it was illegal. Yeah, yeah. But these kits, illegal. they don't have illegal kits. They have legal exactly. kits. Exactly. So they just must have screwed something internally up. Well, you can go it's ahead and, like, I mean, you're not on stream, so you yeah, guys can look. look take a look at the kit. Of course, don't say them out loud. Yeah, don't say Oh, the I see what they did. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> very unfortunate. Yeah. Probably double. Yeah, did you see that, Thomas? That's unfortunate. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, maybe mm -hmm. we'll find out. Watching evidence uh, for something? Okay, maybe... Coco, oh, we just saw a cow die. That's very. Probably not sure die. exactly what's happening here. It could be Coco's yeah, uh, super flat saying. world. <laughs> Maybe yeah, but I feel like they would have said something in the chat before if it was super flat. You know, you think they would, but you know, it's these guys play Minecraft. Okay. These guys play Minecraft for a living. I I don't think any of these guys play Minecraft for a living. Mm. Uh, we're just kind of watching Venice Mine at this point. We're around 5.7 minutes. Blah says he wants chat mod. Um, uh, become an outstanding citizen, and I will give you chat mod. <laughs> I need a signed letter from President Bar former President Barack Obama, and I will give you chat mod. Oh, I have that in my back pocket. Let me just grab that. Yeah, you're not good chat mod. <laughs> You just decided to leave in a prison yeah, lobby? Yeah, my computer died. I'm gonna need to, uh, get whitelisted again. It died, huh? Yeah. Mm, likely story. <laughs> oh, it's a Mac. Yeah, accidentally. Yeah. What do? His finger slipped. His client malfunctioned is what I'm hearing. <laughs> ah. So... Looks like Boy Scouts desperately wants to right the wrong, whatever they're experiencing. Um, but I doubt that's happening. Uh, Socks found some diamonds. Let's Socks see. found some diamonds. <laughs> and looks like if you said, yo, he's coming over, he's gonna... Let's see what he's gonna do, because he's gonna come over and get the diamonds. Yeah, he actually found... Uh, this could be a four. There's two next to each other, so... That could be four. Uh, looks like Git Kong is coming over, and we have seen some bombs in Git Kong's hand. Oh, yeah. Socks making it away. Oh, now Jaybird just said restart. Well, I mean, it's past five minutes, so. Uh, uh that's. that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can't do it anymore. Good call. Yeah, I'm going to be whitelisted and then found a way to see. Yeah, oh, nice to play. Anyways, Secondera has already made a golden helmet. Yeah, we will see some gold helmets on this map. Probably, just because or spawn on Taiga isn't as good as the boys array. Oh, I forgot to put the chest in my inventory. There we go. Uh, Taking a look over at Venice's armor, comes Beckham. Um, yep. And much almost everyone up. Except for the miners. Let's see if they do the furnace wall again. I think they are. You see cars making it. I think yeah. they're gonna make the great wall of furnaces again. Great wall of furnaces. Well, sometimes there will be archers on. Normally, they actually run a cam on archer, but they don't have. I don't think cam's on right now. Yeah, it's not. So, the furnace wall is good for uh, blocking arrows at the start if some people try to get shots, but I don't think either team is doing that considering uh, archers would have been doing surface and breaking gravel. Oh, but Kuyamo is actually uh, breaking some gravel here for Flint. Yeah, he plays Archer. He is a, I remember correctly. He's a very good one, too. Alright, so. Looks like we might be able to see uh, Kuyamo and Archer getting some starting uh, shots. 
on Boy Scouts as they try to cross. It looks like Boy Scouts is all just doing uh, individual furnaces. I just see little scatters of uh, four furnaces here and there. So looks like they're yeah. Basically, the thing is, furnaces. You have to be a team that's really well organized and have a really good shot caller because com com furnaces can either go very right or very wrong, very as in wrong. no one will smelt anything because they think the team is doing it. Mm -hmm. But if they do it very right, you'll get all your all your iron and gold smelted like ASAP. And yeah. I don't know how to do If you're that one, your shot caller on your team will love you. If you're that one brawler that grabs the coal, so exactly. Be that one nothing, brawler that, that grabs the nothing coal. makes a or shot caller more than a brawler getting coal. If you're that brawler, you're just like, yo, I only got 20 iron, but here's like two stacks of coal. Like, <laughs> legit, you'll get played every time. <laughs> Guaranteed playtime, that's the that's the goal right there. <coughs> yeah, right Cam, yeah, I know Cam's not on roster. I know he's on FS. But right now, All it's right, 1.4 so, minutes. Yeah, 1.4. Let's take a look. We see Cyan with, uh, with half, uh, Noof with the chest plate, Edwin with half. Helmets here. Um, good strats by Venice. But on Boys Scout side, we do see Indira with half. Um, we see oh, thought, Michael with Brian half. Brian had three quarters, but that's just his skin. Zombie Man, 7 1 yeah. 1, three quarters. Pashi <laughs> <laughs> is daddy is a diamond chest plate. Uh, yeah, and there is half, Michael is just a quarter, project type. I think Limitations might be waiting for a diamond chest plate. I'm not quite uh, sure, though. Yeah, he, I think he's... I'm not sure. They, yeah, they have one more miner yeah, coming no, up. Iron. Oh, really? Okay, that was... Yeah, uh, one more miner coming up, but there's 30 later. seconds on the clock. That's Boy Scouts thing. not looking... They, I mean, everyone's basically full iron except for Bredo, so... Decent for them, but Venice. What is Venice? Well, look what Venice is doing here. Venice's Zerks are towering on Boy Scout side. Uh, Edwin is beyond the water. <laughs> He's beyond the island. How? No, that that's legal though, because oh, that's yeah. um. There's a block of. Ice oh yeah, there. I guess you can but place a block. I there. think what Venice Zerks are gonna do. Venice Zerks are gonna leap. And, and then two we'll gets. I don't. Think yeah, Boy Scouts <laughs> is rotating. Okay, yeah. Smart idea for Boy Scouts to yeah, go straight for the rotate idea. since they're so under -geared. Plus, Venice does have. I feel like Venice is gonna try to push them as soon as they can, though. Yes. So, yeah, Venice will get mid gear, and we see them attempting to set up a calm chest, and it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> the, new just went horribly calm chest, um, the new calm chest rules is very, uh, it's very weird if you didn't know already. Yeah, it's down on it like at the same time as your comm chest. So, just putting that out there. I don't know. Alright, there's a comm chest from Kuyama right there. <laughs> and Edwin is gonna go ahead and place out some two blocks. That will help the bridge form a bit faster, even though on the other side, Cyan already did it. <clears throat> Looks like trying to take a right sided push here. Gonna be pushing they, already. Gonna rotate. I think they're gonna rotate. They're gonna rotate. Interesting. I honestly thought Venice might take the push here because look how undergeared Boy Scouts is. Yeah. They also look like they tried to build a death, a death pit. And, and here comes Venice. Venice immediately yeah. pushing the right wall. I think they noticed that Irving's. Yeah, Irving's completely out of place. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> Come right now, says Michael. Venice might try to push over. We do see Ocal and oh, two bombs on top. Me. Appling. Good bomb. That uh, well, that hit. Uh, oh, that hit bridge. Got two blocks of bridge. Yeah. bridge. I don't think it really affected that much because it only hit about. But that's probably the first warning. Oh, yeah, it's the first. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> Half a heart. They're gonna be having, making him replace. Oh, Irvin! Oh, Irvin! Noofy and Moon in the water. No, no one saw that coming. Wait, how's that a DQ? What happened? 
He's not right there. Gonna I'm have confused. to make him replace. I'm. Didn't she get kicked? I'm talking. Wait. Hang on. Oh, but there's gonna be. AJ, gonna AJ, can you hear me? AJ. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but they're trying to replace the blocks. It looks like Dennis on top of the wall now. Boy Scouts on the left. Oh. Jacob trying to get some hits on. It Jacob's looks like trying to get some hits. Right oh side. yeah, Irvin was. They had Irvin in the water there. We need to push. They're in a really like... good position right now. Need yeah, to change the position. Weird spot and. They're just gonna start Coco throwing projectiles on. Oh, yep, and Irvin's dead. Look at all those projectiles from Venice. Boy Scouts have gotta be solo. That's an apple kill by Coco and an archery kill by Moon. That's completely yeah, trapped. Yeah, it looks out. like Venice is gonna win, but there's a bomb right there. There's oh. a bomb, and Noofy got three, three kills with the bomb. Kills. Insane. Insane. Venice just. What happened there was Venice had so many projectiles. Noofy, Coco, and um, I think the other apple here was. Not exactly sure, but but uh, Newfie moved one of projectiles that got vet, that got Boy Scouts really low, and then a perfectly placed bomb by Newfie uh, killed three of them. So Venice able to easily take a flawless, mm -hmm. and that ties it back up one to one. So that's the Venice we uh, we were expecting. But we're going into round three. I'm not sure exactly what that. Okay, that's fine. I was wondering. I thought I thought I got kicked from the call or something. Um, and we are on Rabershire for round three. So, good old BCL on Rabershire. Um, I don't know. What'd you think of that, Thomas? That was pretty one-sided. That was pretty one-sided. They were all like in a corner where they could just throw projectiles at them and do tons of damage. And after Irvin died, they started pushing up more projectiles and picked off more people. And that's how they won won this round. Yeah, very well played by Venice. And then how about that bomb? That was, yeah, I dare say that was like a perfectly placed bomb. Getting three kills with that. Huh. Insane. But it looks like we're going to be doing a 10v10 here on Ray for Shire. Should be starting less than five minutes. Uh, Ray Shire, a map that everyone knows pretty well. Both teams, I think, know how to play this map relatively well. But I know Venice does play pretty well on Ray. We're just waiting for round three and see who's gonna win round three. Should be starting just now. Um, Our start is in 11 11. I'm gonna be interested to see whether Boy Scouts even attempts mid here. Because Venice Zerks are pretty good. I don't exactly know who Boy Scouts are. I'll to bet that they might give up mid. We saw them rotate last round on Taiga, which is. Not ideal, uh, Zerk wise, but I think we're getting ready to start here. Oh, maybe not. False alarm. Not ready. AJ, would you? Oh, AJ's not here, is he? Um, so, a bit of a recap for those that are just joining the stream. Um, round one, we had Du Bois and Boy Scouts. Venice took the mid push at Du Bois, uh, fell right into the jaws of Boy Scouts, who 
got Dennis down to three players, I think. And Boy Scouts had seven players. Um, and then the second round, Venice just completely obliterated Boy Scouts on 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 Taiga. Uh, now we see a little bit of drama in chat. I think I think what happened was Boy Scouts wanted to restart at eight minutes, and Claire denied it. I think. She said, "We have legal kits, and I'm not wasting my time with a simple restart. restart in legal kits." But then Boy Scouts, Boy Scouts is saying, "I mean, Boy Scouts. I think Boy Scouts has a valid reason. They're saying legal but incorrect reason for restart because technically each team does have a restart per round, or it's either per round or per match." Well. It, in the rule book, um, I'm look. I'm about to look at it, but I think it says legal but incorrect kits. So technically, if it's okay, legal fine. but incorrect kits, um, they should have a. They should have a right to restart. I'm not exactly sure. I'm I think the restart right works now. more for. For illegal kits, I know for, what you mean. I, no, I know but like for mistakes, like if there's like that team messed up, because like eventually, like. If you have a legal kit like two times in a row, they're just gonna be like, "Nah, that's an instant round win." Cause that's just that's yeah, not that's being right. organized enough. But like, what was the mess? I know I had you and a Thomas look at kits. What was the what was the mess up that they had? Scouts did not have an archer on round oh, two. Oh, they meant to have an archer. They might have an archer, and honestly, that is a big thing on Taiga. On Taiga, yeah, on Taiga, that is pretty huge. Taiga. Uh, very projectile and archer heavy map. So, I mean, think about it. Boy Scouts did not have any projectiles except for Applers. So that's why they didn't come mid. Um, so I don't think it's a valid... Like, I don't think that's why they lost, but uh, I don't know. Could go either way. Well, hopefully on Ray, they can show uh, show out just as well as they did on uh, the boys. Because... Oh, interesting. So I'm looking at the rule book right now. All right. Match restarts. Teams are, I quote, teams are given only one restart to use during the entire match. Reasons for restarts include violation of kit restrictions or legal but incorrect kits. If there are legal but incorrect kits, a team leader from the offending team must PM. The message must include the players that have the incorrect kit or kit they were supposed to go. The message must be before seven minute mark. So I think Boy Scouts did, um... Did they PM? Did, yeah, I think they had it by 8 minutes, so... It's up to the host's discretion. Oh, but, then uh, maybe in the future that round might be being played. But, I mean, if they yeah. go ahead and win this round, it won't matter at all. It won't matter, that's true. So, that's true, so, uh, we'll see what happens. If you're Boy Scouts, but, uh, you just want to go ahead and win this round. I'll be right yeah, back so in a second. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the Diamond Counts. Um, if we take a look at the surface for Venice, uh, trying to get there, no, count them, we see uh, one, two, three, four, five veins on Venice's back island. I don't see any on the pillars. And then two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen veins for Venice on their front island. So, I, if the Berserkers can get all of that, kudos to them because that's that's a pretty large amount of diamonds on the front island for Venice. And then one, another one on the pillar. <clears throat> Age, I don't know regressed. if you heard that, but Venice has a uh, Venice has eleven veins on their. Or sorry, was it? I think it was eleven or twelve veins. Oh my. What did I just say? Something above 10. I don't even remember what I said, but Venice is above 10 veins on the front island. I, I can see already a ton yeah. near Edwin. Edwin's <laughs> going near some right now. Exactly. Looking at Boy Scouts front island, uh, at least three, four, Boy Scouts. Five, six. Four, five, six. Yeah, six. Uh, seven? Seven. seven. Seven on front island for Boy Scouts. So not Back. the end of the world for them. Yeah. That's decent. Uh, I don't see any on a pillar. And then I'm not uh, seeing um, any on back. At least that haven't been gotten yet. Yeah. 
So definitely Venice looking like they have the better spawn from what we see here. Yeah, definitely. Looks like we already have a Kuyama going ahead and doing surface as well for Venice. In the cave, there is a... In going into main cave, there's still one diamond yet to be mined. <laughs> I guess that means they have enough. Who knows? I wonder if Cyan will get it. Like, it's literally just sitting there near some coal and some gravel. I think they they saw, they found it at the very start of the game, but they didn't have an iron pick yet to get it. Yeah, it looks like it. That's so, going to bother me we'll, if no one minds that. <laughs> if they're watching the stream, they'll see it. Hopefully. So I'm not sure if Cars is an archer, because I know lots of teams don't run archer. Um, and a bunch, a couple other teams don't. But I know some teams still do. And we do see him doing surf. And I know he plays archer, so I'm going to say that I'm willing to bet he might be archer. But, uh, but I'm not sure. Why do I keep freezing? I, doubt yeah. I freeze when I tap out. out. Uh. All right, I gotta go Agent, respect science. All right, this could be dangerous. Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> oh, look at him. He's gonna torture me like this, isn't he? All right, so... Oh, you! Yes! <laughs> oh, look, another yes. one! Yes. This is this is why Edwin's my favorite media member, bro. What a hero! Cyan just trying to tick you off, AJ. Mm-hmm. But see, see, that's why Edwin's favorite media member right there. He just, nice. just showed showed out real well. Wow. Well, you know, if you were a media member, but you know, you're not. Oh, that's so. right. I'm not a media member. That's right. How could I forget? There is oh there is a uh, one diamond on a uh, back on back island for uh, what's them called Boy Scouts. It's hidden behind some leaves. Sox is going up. Island? Yeah, Sox is going up to get it right now. Ah, oh, good catch. I it was hidden in the leaves. Oh, there's two. Man, this kid's X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he just has a uh, fancy graphics on, you know. Like me. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Because then you can see through, right? Yeah. Or yeah. Oh, I never even thought pack. of that. Has very see-through leaves. <sighs> I really want to switch to Keno's Emperor pack just because it has 3D mushrooms, and I think they look so cool. Mushroom? Yeah. Keno made a pack with some 3D textures, like the enchantment table, the furnaces, the crafting table, and the mushrooms. They're like 3D textures. What? That's wild. It's actually kind of crazy. Insane, dude. Uh, let's see. We are approaching three minutes, so we should see most teams start coming up and start smelting things about now. Uh, looks like Venice is actually grabbing a ton of wood from their, uh, their platform. Nufi and Moon both already uh, three fourths. That's looking good for Venice gear. Yeah, I don't know if you. For I don't know if Boy Scouts is gonna go for mid here. Yeah, going for. They didn't go for mid last time, but uh. And I mean, if Boy Scouts loses a mid fight against Venice and gets himself into the seven to ten, it's unwinnable. I think so, if they if they have enough gear for their zerks but the rest of their team isn't geared they won't go mid but if they have everyone geared well like they did on the boys and they send their zerks mid i think boy scouts will definitely think their zerks could win mid that's true that's true i think they're confident enough to take that and i think it would be a really close mid fight yeah i think Venice definitely has a, a little bit of an edge but uh And yes, I do keep my ping on oh, the look corner to flex yeah. my six ping constant. A cauldron. You see a cauldron? You um, see that, cauldron strat? Well, what is this? Cauldron strat. This is some, some new strategies. I, I I swear, Nufi, like, I'm about to watch the most insane play where uh, where Edwin or Nuf they zerk leap on the mid, 
and um, they place down a cauldron and a water bucket in the cauldron and negate fall damage. <laughs> Insane. Or, or you know, or they smell what? Instead of that, since you can't craft buckets, <laughs> they, or you can craft buckets, just said they smell water. Well, okay, you can't pick up water buckets, right? Yeah. Instead, you smell sand, right? <gasps> and you get glass bottles, okay? And you fill up okay. three glass bottles, and you set up a macro to place down a cauldron, and then hotkey to three, three water bottles, and fill the cauldron, and then land in the cauldron. Oh my goodness! You know, this is that, why this is why is, they run a season. Tier one strategies. This cauldron strat, we're dumbing it. Yeah, yeah. I I better see that you versus see FS. I better strat. see this versus. I'm about to see this versus FS on uh, Tuesday, right? Oh, yes. Right. Yes, yes. I'm going to steal Venice's Cauldron Strat. But we've seen the Bed Strat, we've seen the Anvil Strat, we've seen the, uh, what else is there? Is Irving so going to solo go to mid? Or is he just going to, like, go for, is he just going to, like, bridge <laughs> out and then leap back to the bridge? I don't, I don't know. Because cause we, we see that, I think, I think Cars is Archer. He built a little, like, platform for but he's also half. No, I think he is Archer. Is he hitting? I think he's, yeah, you see the bows. He's he's gonna try. What is Irvin doing? I think he's the only Zerk on Boy Scout side, at least that we can see. I, I mean, if he goes to mid and he has to fight a three v one, I. Oh yeah, there's some uh, errors. What? Yeah, Cars is trying to shoot down. Oh. I think what he's doing, he's just trying to get a vantage point. It looks like. Yeah. Oh, right. now he starts back down. Yeah, he probably just went and got the download. So that will be a free mid for uh, Venice to take. Uh, no one really extending the bridge for Boy Scouts. If I was them, I'd have someone on that ASAP because Venice is just going to come. Oh, if they can get a shot on. Oh, socks! Oh. Needs to hop over there. Oh, that was close. Ooh, that was close. They need to set up a Not railing. Great for Boy Scouts. They cut off. They might. Venice might be able to get everyone together here to push them before this bridge forms they because look how far behind the bridge is. Yeah. This is not... Yeah, I think Boy Scouts is going to go back to their island and wall up. Leaps on Irvin. Good blocks by Irvin. Ir what is Irvin oh, doing? He's... Oh, he's... Oh, Berserker. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's right. All right, so a quick and hasty wall here from Boy Scouts. And... Oh, is Boy, Boy Scouts... Is... Is Boy Scouts going peak strat and going top of the island? Oh no. Yeah. Oh. It's a <laughs> Venice just broke through and was like, there's nothing here. Where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> I saw this in pub once. <laughs> it's this in the. Yeah, the bridge. Oh hey. no. Yeah, peak. Yeah. We are all Strat. just going to jump. This is for you, Avi. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so if, I think I know what they're going to try to do. Should I um, should I explain what they're going to try to do, or mm, will that give it away? I I don't think it's gonna. I'll... I don't think Venice really cares. But Venice is just gonna, gonna try to look do. at what Venice is doing. This is a really good timer star right here. Where are they? They are <laughs> shifting along nice. the bridge. Shifting on the bridge. And that actually. But, so just... basically. Yeah. Okay. Explain the peak strat then. So real okay. quick. As Back they come way, down. As they come down, I'll still explain it because it's cool. Basically, um, you build shallow walls on each side of the top of Ray, and then when the team other team pushes up and gets walls up so they don't get shot off, the bomber throws two bombs or throws one or two bombs behind them, and then even before the bombs explode, everyone pushes in. And tries to get him off. Um, and we've done it like three or four times. And it's worked every time. In comp even. Boy Scouts is now so that's choosing to do, rotate but... to Venice's original island. Yeah. I think they wanted to try to go to Venice's rotate. But I think Venice is probably going to catch Ooh. them there. This could be interesting. Both teams making an all-out sprint for Venice's rotate. I think Venice oh, there's, gets there's a couple of Science really behind. Oh, Venice is very split right now. If the Zerk, if a Zerk can get in front of Dev and uh, cancel Zeep, 
Boy Scouts might be trying to take the push here. Sox can't overextend there. Okay, they at least secure a rotate. That's big for them. That's big. Cyan. Better get Wolf ASAP. Cyan making the most of this timer stall right here. You know what? Now, now I'll give Cyan all the all the screen time in the world right now. This is the content people want to see. CWCL pack nice gear. It does have some nice gear. I will agree. Interesting that we're seeing wood walls from uh, from Venice. Or I guess it's Nuke wants to build in cobble, but Dev wants to build in wood. <laughs> I just um, accidentally ate five soups. What Mafia used to do? They would basically build like a lattice of wood and cobble, mm -hmm. diagonally alternate, and that made it hard to uh, that made it hard to uh, to break through because you'd need to constantly switch between an. Venice is really out. split right now. Venice is gonna push. I wouldn't be surprised if Boy Scouts tried to drop, but they wasted if their Boy opportunity. Fin yeah, if Boy Scouts counter pushed right there, Venice would have been really in a bad. Push. I don't. I don't think Boy Scouts wants a bridge fight because they. I think they have a bomber. They yeah. always. From what I've seen, they always hope they're gonna yeah, host. Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's quick. <laughs> Abby, you're host now. <laughs> yeah, I'm hosting now. Yeah. Time to. <laughs> Send evidence to bother. <laughs> oh, this could be dangerous. They are forming a really good uh, death box right now as they put back. If uh, if Boy Scouts is able to put a bomb on top of that, yeah, they could get some good damage in. on. Yeah. Boy Scouts doing a good job of staying together here. Looks right like they're, they're going to try to nice get him from the low ground. Oh, oh. Zombie See, man. Almost. This is looking very uh, precarious for Boy Scouts right now. They're a little split. Yeah, they got need to. One all the way on the right side. Looks like they're going to try to regroup left. on the right side. For teams, we do see Endera and Moon with a face off on top of the wall. That little it's thing that face. Bredo just built could really split the team fight huge. Oh, Kong goes in, throws a, a bomb nice bomb. bomb. That's Too a risky nice to bomb. Counter push, but that was a good. And now Boy, Boy Scouts it. Dennis doing their best to, to block up that kit, but another bomb would not be a bad idea. Venice While is doing a really good there. job at um, having nice spam on top, so, cause uh, Boy ooh, Scouts could have, oh, yeah, nice corner ooh. hits there. Almost got a, uh, Irvin almost got Moon off there. Moon oh, needs yeah. to get back on. He's <laughs> in a really dangerous position right now. Yeah, and see, he's on the other side of that thing I was talking about that Brito built. Yeah. Boy Scouts have a pretty good position here. Yeah, this is I mean, really they've, nice. They've cornered them. themselves in. Not that big of a risk to fall off. They can put a so bomb if, if they need to push push Venice back. If I'm Boy Scouts, I think I try to get a bomb behind them and push him so that you put him into the bomb. I think that's what he's trying. I think that's what Kong is trying to do. But <laughs> Cyan and Edwin are just kind of there. So yeah, if there's a bomb, they can just really tell him. He just tell him which way to go. Yeah. Oh, Venice. Kong needs to be careful there. Down. Venice forced to push back. Irvin chasing Moon back, and now Venice is relatively in the pit as they try to block up again. But they keep pushing Boy Scouts back. So. Yeah, if Kong can get his, get his bombs back really soon, he needs to try to do something. Yeah, uh, team fight is imminent here. As we see Irvin trying to take a falls. Yeah. Irvin <laughs> and Edwin going at each other right now. Even a bomb on top All right now. Kong has to, he has to, yeah, he has to put a bomb right there and Boy Scout has to she push in. Because this is the per. Right on top. Yeah, right on top. They push in. Yeah. Boy yeah. Venice will fall back slightly. But he keeps trying to go under. There he goes. Here comes the bomb. I don't think Venice even sees it. Boy There's Scott's the bomb. There's Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts. They've got Venice. Oh, they picked off Henry. The HCG goes down. Venice I'm not sure what they're gonna do here. Now, now he's a straight team fight. Poco gets a kill. 99. Venice push pushing back. 68 in favor of Venice now. 5v8, 4v8. And Venice able to take the team fight. And it's oh, just so Irvin who ran away yeah. from the fight. Man, it was a good. Uh, it was it was a good um 
effort. It was a good yeah. attempt. It was a good attempt by Boy Scouts. That's exactly what they should have done. That's but... exactly what they should have done. Oh, that's that's And Ernest just throws himself into the water. <laughs> that was. I just see a body come crashing down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah, but yeah, right, what you said. Boy Scouts did what they should have done there. Venice, yeah. uh, they did a good job at, as they were pushing forward, they made sure to clear up the space and like fill in the holes so that way when they fell back, they had a really nice spot to to fight. And of course, there's a few people that trickled into there, and they just got shredded instantly. Yeah, you were talking about those blocks that were placed, right? Yeah, they placed on a wood floor where yeah. um, Get Konged originally bombed. Yeah, and basically what happened was Boy Scouts tried to push in, but on the right side. Mm -hmm. They actually kind of had a bit of a wall since it was almost like yeah. a bottleneck. So they bottlenecked yeah, in a few. Exactly. They bottlenecked exactly. in a few of those players from yeah. Boy Scouts, and they just got shredded. Yeah, that was but, just unfortunate. I mean, it was a good idea by Boy Scouts. That's what they should have done. But unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you see it, uh, Venice able to come away in the team fight and take this one two to one. Mm -hmm. So this means this means they're going to be facing the winner of FS versus Coconutters. Uh, FS Coco on Tuesday, and that will as will the next one. There's no but, uh, uh, there's no lower bracket, right? Yeah, there is a lower. Okay, there is a lower bracket, so they could yeah could be a so Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts might make a comeback. I think if I'm looking at the bracket right now, uh, Boy Scouts will be playing against the loser of... Let's see. Nine. Loser of nine. Loser of two. So Boy Scouts... The winner of the final... Final Spark, no. They'll be playing against the winner of the loser of the Final Spark Coco match versus the loser of the Oblivion Club. Ah, okay. So, so those, those I would think they hate a week off comes. then? Yeah, I think they do get a week off. Alright. Before their next match. Because the loser of uh, Oblivion Final Spark Coco has to play. And then they play the Scouts. And the winner of that match will play the Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we're going to go ahead and end it off the stream there. Thanks for watching. Congrats 2-0, uh, or 2-1 two one two one. to Venice. They pulled a good comeback there. Unfortunate that the kits thing happened. Not sure if they'll try to argue that in the long run. But yeah, uh, GG's. Good scrim by both teams. We'll see you guys later. Peace.